Now the first step is to make a platform for the dolly. I can make it out of wood, metal, or I can print it on a 3D printer. I've just ordered a 3D printer, my first one, it's on the way, but until then, my first choice would be metal. Let me look through this scrap box. If I find something suitable, great. If not, I'll use a piece of plywood, an eighth inch thick, and we'll go to work. Now, as you may or may not be able to tell, I like to hoard things. So here's a box of just scrap pieces of metal. I also have a few boxes of scrap pieces of plastic. Always good for finding odds and ends that you need. I found a couple of pieces that are suitable. I'm finally choosing one that's not too thick, not too thin. I think that it'll be able to hold the camera and that'll be easy to cut. Okay, here's my metal of choice. Here's four wheels that I've just been laying around. I've had these for years. I added the ball bearings to it. Two camera adapters. One's from a small little tripod. The other is an umbrella holder. Here's a bunch of acorn nuts and washers that I'll be using. Acorn nuts will make it look cool at the end. Okay, I like it. So the plan is to use these bolts, they're 5 16s, 14s, and insert them into this aluminum tube. This is from an old sign that was sitting on our front lawn. I think it's from the uh, home alarm company. I'll cut this down, use these as the axles for the platform for my dolly. Uh, insert the bolts on either end, attach the washers, attach the wheels, the acorn nuts, and we're grooving. I just determined the size randomly, uh, what I think will look. It's about two inches by five inches and change. Now this is not aluminum, it is metal, steel, thin. I'm going to attempt to cut it on the bandsaw. I'm not sure if it's going to work or not, but you know, wish me luck. Just using a punch here just to start off the holes. So I messed up a little bit. Instead of making one long axle, I made two short ones, and I don't know why I was doing that, so I'm just measuring how long I want that single axle to be, and I'm just cutting it on the bandsaw. So I'm cutting four bolts to attach to the wheels individually, and those will be, sorry, I'll use epoxy to adhere them to the axle. Three of the bolts are just scraps that I had. I'm going to use an old longer five inch bolt, I think it is. I'll just cut it down. It's a newer one instead of using an all thread, a longer all thread. I don't want to waste the all thread. 
And it's epoxy time. I think I'll eventually add some hot glue just to make it a little bit more secure. Now I've cut these little slots in the middle because I want to add a bolt underneath and I'm not sure if the bolt's going to fit. Regardless, it doesn't really matter. I'm going to use a torch just to heat up the aluminum just to be able to bend it back. Not sure if this is necessary or not. Actually, I don't think it's going to be necessary at all, but anyways. I'm going to add a bolt here as the pivot for the axle. Here's a box of knobs. It's always good to have a stash of knobs. You never know when you'll need them. Like I said, these are five millimeter. I don't have many metric nuts and bolts. Uh, I'm just trying to build a collection. But I do have some fives. Now I just want to measure how wide the hole is going to be, and as my drill bits are all in imperial sizes. I'm going to drill an imperial hole for my metric bolt. Four holes coming on up. These bolts are a little bit short, but it looks like they'll do for now. Actually, it's not bad. I'll eventually cut off these little wings. I may give it a coat of paint just to make it look nice. Not sure what color. Blue axle, red platform, black knobs. I don't know. What do you think? I lost the other washer. Oh, I think I need another washer and acorn nut. Can't find it. Big mess. So I'm going no. into my camera stash to find these little adapters. You can use both uh, 7 16 or quarter inch, depending on what size your camera holder is. You have to see what size your camera clip is. Drill a hole in the middle. Add the attachment and we're done. I need to drill a quarter inch hole for this one. I think I'm going with this one to a little bit more height. This one has a little bit more height. I'm going to use this one. I'm going to drill a quarter inch hole to attach this.
instead of wasting this, I'll just take a screw. Just take a bolt and cut it. So again,
shoot it up.
and some glue. Now, this is a 716, 20, 